Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at another way to get a Riemann sum. Remember that when we split, uh, split into rectangles, what we need to be able to do is just look, um, how do we get the height of the rectangle? We just go anywhere in this subinterval at all, and then just go up somewhere. It doesn't matter where, right here, if we just choose to go into the, in the middle, this is called a midpoint sum. So we had left hand, right hand, but also midpoint means it's just a rule for how to do it. Honestly, it doesn't really matter where we do it, but I mean, to provide some uniformity, at least for an algorithm or something that we're writing, it's nice to have some kind of a rule here. So what if we just go to the midpoint? Notice, um, so if we go to one fourth to go up and just use this rectangle height here, let's just go up in the middle, use that rectangle height. Notice that when we do so, we use the same thing with, and then we plug in, um, this val x value, that x value, the x values of the midpoints of the rectangle, plug them into the function, y equals x squared, get these, go through this process, we get 5 over 16, which is fairly close to 5 over 15, which is a third. Um, it's closer to a third than um, the left-hand sum and the right-hand sum, even though we only use two rectangles um, here instead of four. Thanks for watching.